Hello, welcome to another Shed Talk. My name's Harry Rogers and today I want to talk about filming on your smartphone as I think I've actually got it down to quite a fine art. So I'm going to talk a little bit about sound quality, how you can get that better, about things like image stabilisation with gimbals and other little attachments and things to get really nice quality film off your smartphone. And I'll show you a couple of clips also just to show the sort of quality that you can expect to get. Now, obviously, first of all, you need a reasonable quality phone. And the one I'm using, it's a Samsung S6. So a slightly older generation phone now, but the camera quality I find is absolutely superb. And obviously the, the recent iPhones as well will give you lovely image quality, plus lots of other phones. They're, they're such now that the cameras on them are really, really good and I've been quite impressed. I do quite a lot of my filming on a Sony 4K video camera. But I have to say, once you've gone through the YouTube processing, the upgrading, the phone is good. Um, and you know what they say? The best camera is the one that you have with you. And of course, one normally has a phone. So I have done the odd handheld video with the phone. I don't find that as good. So in comes number one thing, which I think is absolutely brilliant. And it's a little handheld gimbal. And this actually gives you stable images when you're shooting with your phone. And I'll show you how it works. So the gimbal, it's an amazing little bit of technology really. It's got three little motors in it and some very intelligent sort of programming or software, which means that however you hold the stick, your phone will be sort of level and even. So it really does stabilize your phone. And what it means is if you're taking, you know, walking along, taking a film, you can get a really good steady image, which you won't get if you just hold your phone in your hand. And I'll show you a film clip to show you just a very quick one to show you the sort of quality of the stabilization. And then I'll show you a bit more about how the phone goes in the gimbal. You'll probably notice as I walk through this woodland, there's still a few oak trees standing. And this is called coppicing with standards. So it's where you get the chestnut undercroft and then you get lovely big oak trees. So what would happen here is chestnut would be cut, say every 12, 16 years and then the oak could be cut every 150, 200 years or whatever. It's done on a rotational basis. As you see, that's a very smooth bit of footage, which you just wouldn't get if you're holding your phone yeah, without a gimbal in your hand. And the gimbal, I find really great, actually, if when I'm going around wanting to perhaps talk in a woodland or something like that, as it's nice and, well, levels out your walking. <laughs> just to show you a bit more closely how the gimbal works, there's a clip here which holds your phone really securely. So it's a stretchy clip and it clamps in to take your phone. And then there's a little button on the side, which if you press that, you switch the unit on. And as you press it, a little blue light comes on. And then it flashes and you press a little, there's a little joystick button, my thumb's going on. Press that and suddenly your phone becomes level. So there you are, <laughs> got two pictures of me now. <laughs> but do you see how, as I move that stick, the phone is still keeping a fairly level picture of me. Yeah, if you're thinking you're walking or something, it's doing a pretty good job. Well, a staggering job really, if you think about that. So if I did this without waving around like this, that image would be all over the place. I can twist it, turn it, and there are different modes you can put on the gimbal. So there's things like a follow mode, and which if you're into sports um, sort of following or something like that, it could be quite a useful mode to have. I do just use this standard mode, but you, you can you know, do other things. But you can see the little motors, the motor there, a motor here, and a motor here. They're all very quietly and you don't hear them. They're working away to stabilize it. And I find this, really very very good i'm really very impressed and of course with a phone now you can shoot at quite a high quality so it gives you a good video output of course the one thing that you are lacking with the phone is the audio because if you're very close to your phone you'll get quite a decent audio but if you go probably more than 
two meters, certainly with my phone, if you go much beyond two meters, that audio drops off quite significantly and it, you, you lose something from the film. So <laughs> in comes another very clever little recent development and it's a Rode video mic for phones. And this is the new improved one. So there's an earlier model. This is the plus version, the Rode Lavelier Smart Lav uh, Plus. I'll put, actually I'll put links for all these bits I'm showing you down below in the comments and then you can have a look at them more if you want to. But with the microphone, it obviously just plugs in to, whoops, I'll just switch this gimbal off. It's gonna go nuts if I don't. <laughs> right, that's off. Um, yeah, with the microphone, it's got a little jack. This is a TRRS. I think I got that right, jack, um, which is especially for going into phones. So it's different to the little jack you'll get in going into, I don't know, a little hi-fi or something like that. But um, for my phone, I just use it straight in. I believe if you have the iPhone, you need to use the adapter to convert it to TRS. And Rode do a little adapter that you can clip into your iPhone and then you clip this into the adapter. But if you've got a um, one like mine, which as I say is a Samsung S6, Galaxy S6, you just pop that in. And I've got a little, there's a little clip there to clip the microphone on and I've got a wind muff on. Now I started without using the wind muff and generally it was fine, excepting if I got into obviously a fairly windy situation. So I popped this on thinking it would kill the sound a bit, but actually it hasn't, despite being so big and fluffy. So you do cut out the wind with this and it doesn't seem to have any noticeable impact on the sound. So I'm leaving it on and I just plug you know, into the phone, clip this on and then I'm ready to go. So I've got good smooth video and I've got pretty perfect audio as well. And it's really, really quite impressive. So the other thing I'll just show you is if I'm shooting, say, in my workshop, I do generally use my Sony 4K camera if I'm in the workshop, as I am now, I'm on the, the Sony. Um, but if I want to do something just using the phone, which I sometimes do, so the film like belt making to music that I did, that was all shot on the phone. Uh, again, I'll show you a little clip. I use a clip like this to clamp your phone. So you just put your phone into there and it clamps it. And then you've got a little screw base here and you can pop it onto a tripod or what I use actually are the Manfrotto arms, the little some magic arms that have articulated joints and you can sort of twist them around to get them pointing anywhere. So very good if you're perhaps demonstrating something as I often do with stitching say or something on a workbench where you want to be able to zoom in close and have a steady shot. And I suppose, you know, there are other gadgets. You can get clip-on lenses. You can um, get things like Bluetooth selfie sticks and you could go on. And I mean, I just wanted to show you really the gimbal and the microphone, because to me, if you're out and about doing a bit of vlogging or something, it's a really good way of using your phone. It's compact, fairly unobtrusive and pretty good, actually. <laughs> Anyway, hope you enjoyed seeing that one. I'll put the product links down below. And if you've got any questions, please just ask. And thanks so much for watching. Okay, bye-bye then.